everyone and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. Today I'm sharing a casserole that can double as the perfect side dish for all of your summertime cookouts or as an easy weeknight dinner all year round. My mom's calico bean bake. This video is sponsored by the Pennsylvania Beef Council, and I am so excited to be partnering with them throughout the year to bring you awesome recipes featuring one of my favorite ingredients, beef. I'm a wife and mom of four kids, soon to be five. I'm currently 19 weeks pregnant, and throughout this entire pregnancy, the protein I have been craving the most is ground beef, which works out perfectly. Lucky for me, in just one three ounce serving, beef provides 10 essential nutrients that both my body and my baby need, including almost half of my daily value of protein. This helps keep me fuller longer and bonus, it tastes amazing. To celebrate Memorial Day coming up, I wanted to share with you my mom's calico bean bake recipe. This casserole recipe is over 50 years old and I ate it all the time growing up. Did you know that baked beans taste even better with beef? Let's get started. I started with half a pound of ground beef in a large nonstick skillet. And be sure to always wash your hands with hot soapy water before and after handling raw beef. I cooked the ground beef over medium heat, breaking it up as I went along with my spatula until it was totally cooked through. At this point, you can drain your browned ground beef. I didn't have a lot of fat left in the pan, but a great tip is to use your turkey baster to remove any excess fat. Next, I drained and rinsed a can of dark red kidney beans along with a can of butter beans. And if you've never heard of these, they are large lima beans and they have a really smooth, creamy texture. So now I just had to add a bunch of ingredients into my skillet with the browned ground beef. So first I added the beans along with a can of baked beans. I prefer vegetarian baked beans, but you can use pork and beans, whatever you have in your pantry. Next is one can of stewed tomatoes. You can omit these if you don't like tomatoes, or you could substitute a diced red bell pepper. To sweeten the casserole, I added three quarters of a cup of brown sugar plus a quarter cup of white sugar. Next was a teaspoon each of salt, ground mustard, and apple cider vinegar. Lastly, I added half a cup of ketchup and then stirred everything together to combine. This casserole bakes at 350 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. As a finishing touch, I did crisp up a few slices of bacon that I crumbled up and sprinkled over the top. You can easily double or triple this recipe to feed a crowd, whether it is a summertime side dish or a weeknight dinner. Thank you so much to the Pennsylvania Beef Council for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you visit pabeef.org for your all things beef resource. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Ann's Family Recipe, and give this video a thumbs up if you like beef. I hope you have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Try this recipe out, and I'll see you again soon with more family recipes.